what she wants to do. Hmm. What's up everybody? We have a problem. My 1997 Mercury 9.9 .9 is having some serious starting issues and doesn't want to stay running even if you can get it started. Uh, so today we're going to be taking the old carburetor off and uh, seeing what we can figure out here. Take it down, rip it apart, clean it. We're not going to do a rebuild today. Just going to be a cleaning. Something's definitely squirrely in there. Um, so yeah, take you along with me through the process. Tell you some of the first things you need to do is got to release this linkage here. Uh, that's got to come off. Top of that, we'll remove this fuel line. Um, this is, some people call it a choke. It's an enrichment adjustment, pretty much is what it is. But you have to remove this. If you can see this C clamp right here has a lip, you pull that up out of there. And then there's a screw here. I don't know if you can see that. You got to back that out because that locks that in so it don't fall out. So you back that out a little bit, you don't fully remove it. Then that'll pull that enrichment adjustment deal out of there and then you have you have a nut here only two nuts hold this carbon you have a nut here and hopefully let me get on the other side I'll show you you have one right here and uh, that should pull the carb and I think there's another hose underneath another line underneath I'll pull out so We'll get started doing that. Let me grab the tools and get right back. All right. We're going to attempt to pop this fuel hose off. Just got to work it around like that. Uh, take that off, first of all. Sorry. So that's off. Uh, next, we're going to back this screw out. Hmm. Right down there. I hope you can see. Just till it runs flush with your plat. Don't take it all out. You don't have to. Let's work on popping this. Don't lose it. There we go. See? Just like so. Now, that should allow for this enrichment to be able to pull out. So there's that part. Now there's a second part to it, which is right here. It usually pulls all the way out, but if we can, it will leave that in there for now. Um, that's that. Let's get the appropriate wrench for this and start getting these two nuts off. Alright guys, we've got our wrench here. It is a 13 millimeter. I'm going to get these two nuts off and then I'll get back with you. You don't need me to watch. I mean, you don't need to watch me doing all that. Okay, we got our nuts off. This bad boy. I might have to move this up out of the way. Um, I think I will. It's going to make things a lot easier if I do. Got a, hmm. Let me check that out. Okay, everyone, be advised there is a little 7 millimeter nut right up under here. So, gotta get a little 7 mil wrench on there to uh, loosen that up. Pull that screw 
but once you get it started make sure you get your hand under here and hold that nut because you don't want to drop it down in there good luck getting it out and then see this plate goes right back in this way all right let's see if we can move this up out of the way now a little bit like that there we go now, I've never had this car about this is the first time for me so hopefully it's not gonna make a huge huge deal trying to get it out like it's already starting to do Just, there we go. All right. Carbs out. Don't lose that enrichment fitting. A lot of people pull that out with the adjustment. It stayed on there for me, so I'm going to leave it on there. Work that hose a little bit. Hopefully you can see running the hat cam today. There we go. Corb is out. Corb is out. Now, inspect these hoses for any cracks, tears, wears, anything you can see there, because that, my friend, look at all that fuel pouring up out of there. I suspect this carb is going to be filthy. It was not winterized last year. That, of course, is my stupidity. But all right, let me get the bench set up, and uh, we'll get to work on ripping this down. First things first, got me a piece of cardboard down here. Try to protect my workspace a little bit. Now, this whole deal here, Um, I might take that off. Might take that off there. All right, we got the enrich the enrichment assembly off. Next thing I'm gonna do is is take off the enrichment valve. Um, it was sticking when I first went to fire this motor this year. It was sticking down, but it did free itself up. But I get a lot of fuel upon releasing sprays up out of here. I don't know if something's plugged there or not. But anyway, we're tearing this whole thing down and doing a complete cleaning. So that's going to come apart. And there's four screws. Four screws and we'll be taking that out there too. See what we have in here? Took this off, you have a spring. And you have this dealio here, and the spring pushes it back. Um, let me put my readers on. It looks pretty freaking dirty in there. I can't see without the readers. You got four screws. Let's take them out so I don't repeat that again. My first time doing this on this carb, so bear with me. I want to inspect that for any breakage. Um, of course, you got to have your carb cleaner, which I have right here, left over from my chainsaw job. This should be enough, but we're going to spray parts down as we take them apart. Take this outside here. We're going to give us a little blast. So. That is that. Um, like I said, there is a spring here. All right. Now, once we get to that other end of the carb, I know there's a feeder hole right there. You see that? See that goes down through there into the bowl? 
we're going to release the bolt 13 millimeter there is a washer there all right got the bowl off it is that 13 millimeter nut on the bottom it was just stuck gasket looks okay we're gonna pull that needle though we're gonna check that out see what it's looking like so I would have to loosen that flathead screw up right there Don't lose your pin. Do not lose your pin. There's our needle. Right here. Inspect that needle for rounded tip or any type of fractures. It looks good. Uh, I'm going to spray this a little bit. Right through here. Got to watch, I'm running low. Carb cleaner in the eye. Which is always a no no. Alright, guys. Clean this all up. Put the needle back in. And we're going to set this with the set screw. That's seating the way it's supposed to. Alright, got the bowl assembly back on and cleaned. We're going to move on to the side. I'm not going to bore you with these five screws. I'm going to get them out, then we'll come back to you. Alright, got that off. Now I want you to note here, look at this crud in around this diaphragm here. Okay, now look down in here. Look at this mess. Serious issues right there. And that's all from that older fuel line that had broke down on me. And, uh, yeah. Now this should come up off of here like this. Watch your, dot, watch your uh, gasket because I don't have a rebuild kit here. Look at that. Look at that shit in there. Wow. Run through stuff, but that seemed to be plugged. Running low. All right, folks, we got that all cleaned out. We're going to go ahead and reassemble. Going to go ahead and reassemble this bad boy. Side port. There was a lot of junk in there, as you've seen. Which is not good. Not supposed to be there. At all. And that thing was filthy. Filthy, no doubt. But anyways, I'm just going to zap these five screws back in right here to the side plate. And just for note, tighten these down gradually. Get them snug, work your way around. Cross pattern. Oops, shaky today.
once you get them all seated and you can set them a little better get them snug in there with no air leaks all right do a visual make sure we seated correctly and we did okay that's that now we're gonna go in at the top take this top off see what we got going in there I'll get this off and come back all right guys we got the top off not looking too bad in there but uh we'll spray it out of course Now we're going to get that back on. We're going to reinstall top plate now. Got that cleaned out. Zap these two screws back in. We're going to reinstall the enrichment valve. Um, and I'll find out which way she goes. Something like that. Get these four screws in here. That's why you keep two screwdrivers on the bench. We'll just get that snug down a little bit to hold it in place. Get another one on the offset side. That's where I need the smaller screwdriver. And this one, this one's on an angle. You gotta be careful. You don't cross thread. <clears throat> this one's a tricky one. As it wants to hit. There we go. Small screwdriver gets it down in there. Let's get it snug. Get the other two in there, and uh, away we go. You seen all that trap? All that crap stuck on the uh, flap side. That was bad. That may have been the issue right there. Um. them snug down good we don't want no air sucking in all right that's that it's pretty much back together at this point um, I am concerned this jet up in here in the bowl assembly goes like that I'm concerned with this I think guys take it out I hope it's not an adjustment you know I would like to take it out and clean it um, but that thing seems to be offset there a little bit too. I'm gonna have to put that in there like that and All right, we're not gonna mess with that. Uh, let's get that back together. Gaskets in place. So, 
All right. Let's see what we're going to do here next, and I'll get back to you. All right, guys. Reinstalled the enrichment valve assembly. All right. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Time to put this puppy back on. Let's take some of this stuff out here. Let's take our magnetic tray with us. Get this bad boy reassembled. If we can. It's always the hardest part. Getting stuff back together, especially when your hands don't fit. Yeah, I knew that was going to be tough. They don't give you too much length here. Get that back on where it goes. This out of the way. And here comes the fun part, man. Oop, might if I put it in the right way. Here comes the fun part. This is going to be your work feeding that nut or that bolt through that and that bolt through the other side of the car mount so i'm going to cut this camera off throw a wiggler in there and i'll get back with you all right everyone got the carb in place i did not tighten it down because this sometimes here could be a beast to get back in here so i'm not going to tighten the carb down so i can wiggle it around And it's being a beast, just like I said. Alright guys, I think I got this in place right, I'm not quite sure, but I need to mount this carb up to see if it's working properly. Alright guys, I was having a problem getting this, uh, uh, whatever it's called back in there, sorry, got a little frustrated. But this arm has to be down, see this arm right here, that has to be down when you push that in. Otherwise, it won't it won't catch and it'll just slip on you. And that's the problem I was having. So I had to loosen that screw up. We'll tighten it back up again. Yeah, you got to put that arm down when you slide this back in there. Otherwise, it's a no go for you. All right. We click that in, take our retaining clip, which is right here, and hold that, and clip it down in there just like that. Alright, now it should work. Yep, okay. Alright, we're going to put our bolts back on, the main bolts to the carb, or nuts rather, to the bolts seat this car back against the uh, head and uh, I'm not going to bore you with that so I'll be back once that's in All right, guys, I'm going to seat this down I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there common sense getting the nuts back on the bolt head Seat this carb. Alright, nice and snug. Don't kill it. You don't have to. Alright, now. These zip ties. That were on here. They ain't no good anymore. So, I'm going to have to put another one on there. But let's make sure this device is working. Bam. It's working good now. All right, reconnect. Uh oh. Okay. I'm a little nervous about that. I'm like, where in heck did that go? Um, that just clicks back down on it like that. It's like so. All right. Get this bad boy reinstalled. Now this had that plate under there, if you remember. Um, exactly which way it went was like that. 
So we're gonna get that season. Remember, got this little lock lock nut on here. So let me uh, let me get one. Oop. Let me uh, get this bad boy started again. Goes up like that. Comes down through. Pinch at. Once again, don't drop. Don't drop your nuts, man. They fall down in there. Forget it. Good luck finding it, you know what I mean? I right, got that one. Let's go to the other side. This one on. Man, I kind of hope this thing's going to run now. You know what? I, I don't want to have to tear it apart again or take it in for service. Alright. That was what? 8 millimeter. Put that on there. Snug that down. Come over to this side. Snug that down. All right. That's working. I'm gonna get a zip tie and get it on this fuel line here. I'll be back with you. All right, guys, we got a zip tie in place. We're gonna put some pressure against that tie so we can pull it. Get it on there snug, like like that, and we'll cut this excess off, of course. All right. As you can see, got the tag in that I zip tie cut off. Um, she's just about ready to give her a shot. I changed the plugs out yesterday. Uh, we're going to try her out here shortly. Hopefully, uh, we have a better result today than we had yesterday. And the other day, on the water. That was terrible buttoned up get back to you when we try to fire let's get some water in the tub and see if we can run her